Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from Berlin today where I'm happy to report that I'm adjusting well to lockdown 2. I've managed to move apartments between lockdown 1 and 2 and as a result I feel very privileged to have some variety in my lockdown. I'm spending a lot of time meditating on the act of seeing, a topic that I've been researching for months and even paying more attention to given our new normal. In 2019, when I was spending time capturing the lives of survivors of the insurgency in Northeast Nigeria, I was already reflecting on this topic. For each photograph that I made or each scene I recorded with video, I was selecting sites from an infinity of others. I wanted to hear the stories of not only how these people are victims, as is the popular narrative, and of course they are. These are people who've been through 11 years of war and the war is still ongoing. On this topic, I was thinking of how to document the situation, the devastation, the food insecurity, the violence against women and girls, and the list goes on and on. I was also trying to stay open to be able to look for things in things. The alert beauty through pain, like here with this mother and daughter, Zainab and Hassana. Zainab buried her daughter Hassana on the grounds for months so she wouldn't be abducted. Or when I saw strength in despair, like here with Baba Ali, who is the oldest medicine man in Chibok and who makes protective charms for vigilantes. At the moment, I'm reading a book by John Berger called Ways of Seeing, and there is a line in it that says, to look is an act of choice. As a result of this act, what we see is brought within our reach. I made this image after Falmata showed me around her IDP camp. This is a place where thousands and thousands of displaced people live. Here, Zara tells the story of going into Boko Haram territory to rescue her husband. She also tried to rescue her daughter, but was unsuccessful. Here, Zara's son eats a lunch of just plain rice. They hadn't received food aid in months. As an image maker, every day I rededicate my life to making images that share stories of the difficult things that are going on. The question to you out there is, now that you have seen, what are you going to do? As part of my project, I also created a short film telling the story of three women who were victims of Boko Haram. Falmata and Precious, who are on the right, managed to escape. If you'd like to receive a screening copy, please feel free to follow me on Instagram and send me a DM or just send an email to the address on your screen. Thank you so much.